welcome to my channel my name is Fatima in today's video we're gonna be filming another shower routine video I know you guys love these videos so I'm back with another one this one is going to be featuring all my favorite products that have a fresh floral type of scent so the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is changing into my towel of course and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my shower cap on to protect my hair while I'm in the shower Especially when I have a wig on, I like to double and triple protect my hair. So as you guys saw, I put on an elastic band and then a bonnet underneath my shower cap. That just ensures that no moisture gets in. So of course, I'm going to start off by turning the water on and we're going to jump straight into the shower routine. So I'm starting off by rinsing myself off before we get into using soap. So I'm going to be using the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap to start off. This is my fave because it really, really leaves you squeaky clean so I use this on my underarms and in my intimate areas kind of like a pre-clean before I get into my body wash also I will say that Dr. Bronner's is my go-to when it comes to my intimate areas by intimate areas I mean front side and back side so my lady parts as well as my back side and of course you want to make sure that you're using it on the outer you're not getting inside but this always makes me feel really clean and gives me no issues now for body wash i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite brands which is method body i love how this lathers up really really nicely um and we're going with the cucumber scent today which is a more like fresh scent i'd say it's actually the scent on this is actually very strong which i like a fragrant body wash because the scent doesn't just like disappear as soon as you wash off the body wash you guys know as well that i use exfoliating gloves to wash myself on a daily i just love how easy it is to literally use your hands to wash yourself and that personally makes me feel really clean the fact that the exfoliating gloves are a bit abrasive on my skin so as a body scrub today i'm going to be using the fresh body scrub this is one of my absolute faves definitely one of my go-to's you can definitely see as i'm applying it that the water droplets are literally just rolling off of my skin this is how moisturizing this body scrub is and of course it's just a really great exfoliant it's definitely a little bit more on the expensive side i wish it was a little bit cheaper but i'm not gonna lie i will still purchase it because it's that good to shave i'm gonna be using the avino positively smooth shave gel i recently picked this product up as you guys can see it's more of a gel consistency when you rub it on your skin it becomes like a foam which i love the consistency i love how it foams up i was doing laser for a while on my underarms but i stopped because it just was not working so i'm back to shaving my underarms regularly so i'm just going in of course with the shave cream and my razor and i'm doing the same thing on my legs so now let's get into foot care i've mentioned this before but i have a naturally hard feet so i'm very passionate about this topic and I feel like I finally figured out a proper way to like soften my feet effectively. So it's really just down to two things in the shower. I use a pumice stone on the backs of my feet and I use a scrub on the top parts of my feet. Also do not use graters when you go to get a pedicure. So I maintain this routine about a couple times a week and it has done wonders for my feet. So the next step is to moisturize. I'm going in with two products and I'm mixing them together. So the Y Body Cream um, in Melrose Place and also the Topicals Slather Body Serum. So the Y Body Cream for one, this smells divine. I feel like this is definitely the perfect fresh and floral scent because it is floral, but it's not too floral. It's definitely still very fresh and it smells so good. The scent lasts all day. Like when I tell you guys, this smells so good. It smells amazing. And then for the slather body cream this is an exfoliating body serum so this is actually to help out with like really dry skin or for me personally i do deal with kp or strawberry legs and slather really does help with that which is why i like to mix it in with my regular body lotion So next up, I'm changing into my robe and we're starting off by putting deodorant on. 
So next up, I'm going to be doing my skincare. I specifically left this out for after the shower just so that I could do it all at once. But all of the items that I'm going to be using in my skincare are from Skin Store. Thank you so much to Skin Store for sponsoring today's video. To wash my face, I'm going to start off by using the Clodadi Cleansing Almond Milk. So I used a couple pumps of this all over my face and then I'm going in with my face sponge just to remove everything. Once that dries down, I'm going to go in with my new face gel primer. That's going in first because I'm actually going to be using the new face facial toner, the mini size. I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on this through Skin Store because I've been wanting to try this device out for the longest. So the new face uses microcurrent to tone and contour your face. I sort of think of it as a quick facelift session. It also reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which is great. So my new face did come with a guide on where to use it and how, which makes it a lot easier because I feel like just receiving this device is a little intimidating. But right now I'm just toning my jaw, my cheekbones and my forehead. So the gel primer I applied just allows the new face to kind of slip and slide on my face easily to tone my face. When I'm done, I'm just gonna go in and massage the rest of that back into my face. And then we're onto my next product. So this is an ordinary serum. This is retinol 1% in squalane and this is sort of an anti-aging product It just helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles Despite the fact that I don't have that many wrinkles on my face I do feel like it is important to start young when it comes to anti-aging skincare and lastly We're just gonna use a face moisturizer. This is the ultra repair cream from first aid beauty. I love me a good thick moisturizer like i honestly that's all i ever want to wear is like a really good thick moisturizer summer winter it doesn't matter i like to feel moisturized and this definitely does it for me so like i said you can find all of the skincare products that i use on my face at skin store i'll make sure to leave all of the links down below for you guys next we're doing oral care i'm going in with my crest whitening toothpaste i always make sure to use a whitening toothpaste and i'm just going in with my toothbrush brushing my teeth and then I'm going in with my TheraBreath Oral Rinse. This has also become a staple, one of my staple products because it genuinely makes your breath stay fresh all day. I highly recommend that you go and pick this up if you don't already have it. We're almost done with our routine. The last step is to go in with my Laneige lip mask just to moisturize my lips. And then I'm going to just brush my hair out and put it back into a braid. A lot of the times, like at night, I just like to have my hair out of my face. Um, and so that's why I just either put it in a braid or a bun, something to just get it out of the way. And I almost forgot I included this in the video, but if I don't do this in the morning, I'll do it at night. So I'm just gonna take my collagen gummies. This is just great to maintain my hair, my skin, my nails. Um, and then I'm also gonna go in with my probiotics. This is not only great for gut health, but also for like your feminine hygiene and maintaining your pH balance. So I try to take probiotics every day actually. And then I'm gonna go in with perfume morning or nighttime. If I'm going somewhere, even if I'm not going anywhere, I will always apply perfume just cause I like to smell good. So I'm going in with my Vaseline body balm and applying that first onto my skin, just so that the perfume has something to stick to and so it can last longer. And and then I'm going in with my Carolina Herrera perfume. I'll link everything down below for you guys. I love how this smells. I feel like it's such a staple, like it's such a classic. And then at this point, it's time to just wind down and chill. I got my shower out the way. I'm super nice and clean and I'm good to just go in bed and chill, drink some wine, watch a movie, read a book, whatever I decide to do. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you guys so, so much. If you guys did like the video, go ahead and click the like button. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys use already used some of the products that I mentioned or if I put you on to some really good products let me know in the comments let me know if you like the video of course subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in the next one